Hello guys, Middleton Plays here and welcome to my channel. So this is the first ever video on this channel so I thought I would do a creator sim whilst doing a voiceover. Um, basically me telling you a bit about myself um, for you guys um, to get to know me better. My real name is Josh, I am 18 years old and I'm British. I have had a YouTube channel before which was, it used to be called Howdy Simmer. Um, I actually did that channel for just over three years um, but I ended it last September because then I kind of moved full time to Twitch which I have been doing um, and then because um, I've because I haven't been great mentally for the past couple of years I've been really low um, suffering with anxiety and depression so I kind of lost motivation in doing YouTube but with how YouTube has changed a lot over the past year and a half um, it wasn't really the same and I wasn't really enjoying it that much um, but then I moved over to Twitch which I am enjoying so I'm enjoying so much um, I struggle to stream like every like I try and stream Monday to Friday every week um, but of course some things come up or if I'm having a bit of a bad day and I'm not really in the mood um, but I try and stream at least once a week um, but this week so far I mean it's Thursday night I'm recording this so this will go up um, tomorrow Friday um, and I will probably most likely not stream until next week um, because I did um, get some news earlier on in the week and that kind of um, made me in a bit of a low mood trying to understand it and all that kind of stuff um, I have recently been diagnosed with autism, um, to, be uh, to be specific, um, Asperger's, so uh, when I do videos or live streaming or basically in general, I struggle talking, um, I struggle explaining things, um, I muddle up my words, I can't um, like put sentences together correctly. Um, so you have to bear with me with that I mean it's not my fault um, but it's just something that happens quite frequently um, and sometimes I get a bit self-conscious about it um, because I also say mm, a lot <laughs> I also um, suffer with Crohn's disease psoriasis and then of course the anxiety and depression but of course now as I know that I have um, Asperger's that my anxiety and depression basically comes with that um, and yeah, I know I'm 18, well, I've, I turned 18 last month, um, so, and I've, I was only diagnosed earlier on in the week, um, but it took someone 15, nearly 16 years to think, ah, oh, he may have autism, um, and then the assessment started um, early 2016, um, and then we hadn't heard anything back from him from um, September 2016 so we assume because I haven't been in any education since well for nearly two years um, I mean I should have started college in, in late well yeah late um, 2016 but because of my anxiety and all that I unfortunately couldn't um, unfortunately couldn't attend um, and then I went depressed last year um, and I was at my lowest point um, last June where I was suicidal I was I felt numb for the first time and it was such a horrible experience but now I'm working on trying to get mentally better um, but now as I as I know I've got this that definitely helps so there's more support so we assume because of me not being in any any education and not hearing from them um, that the case had like been thrown out um, and then all of a sudden the letter came earlier on in the week um, and it was a big shock to actually hear something um, and in the letter it kind of gave me my diagnosis and then kind of my strengths um, and then my needs which of course my needs was a lot longer than my strengths I do tend to repeat um, what I'm saying um, quite a few times <laughs> I should have mentioned um, at the start of this video um, but I got a new microphone last week I think it was either last week or the week before um, and I did have the Blue Snowball Ice previously but now I have the Blue Yeti um, and I'm still trying to adjust to it, trying to get used to it, trying to figure out which settings are best and all that kind of stuff so I'm hoping this is alright for you guys, if not then of course please comment but I mean comment if you think this is alright um, because I, I'm not 
too sure i mean i don't really do audio editing um i have actually looked into it with audacity it's very confusing i'm not gonna lie but i'll probably work that out uh, well um in the future i am very open about my feelings and emotions i mean i don't really have a problem with expressing myself um i mean i'm not gonna exactly say everything because <laughs> i'd like to keep some things private um but I, I personally just don't have a problem with it anymore i mean i used to um like i could keep things to myself uh, well it went on for a, a few years um but then once i was able to express myself i felt so much better um i felt relieved i was emotional i mean it is hard because you're like having to be re well you're um being reminded of things that have happened that you don't really want to be reminded of um, but I can promise you um, if any of you struggle with expressing your feelings and emotions that um, by expressing yourself it will help you so much and like you can't expect that keeping it to yourself and trying to figure it by yourself well trying to figure it out yourself um in your head um that that's actually gonna be helpful because it doesn't oh well, it's not at all um it only makes you worse so please um just try i mean it i know it's hard but you will feel so much better once you have for the first time i absolutely love to support people um i think i have just always been like that and i think that's kind of why my anxiety and all that got worse is because i was always helping people i was taking in their problems but i wasn't really helping myself um, and i think that's kind of why I, I got as bad as i did i actually hope to do some voluntary mentoring later this year because i to be, to be honest like one of my goals for like life um, is to share my story um, to hopefully inspire others that things will get better in time um, because like when you're so low you don't see things improving you don't see a future for yourself um, but like like I said I was at my lowest point last year um, but since then I've well things have been slowly improving and I'm actually feeling happy again I mean I have days where I mean I have good and bad days uh, I think everyone does but I now I now have more good days than bad days which is great I mean I have the odd um, day where I'm feeling a little low um, it also depends on like how much sleep I've had because that massively affects how I feel I'm just so glad that I didn't end my life because um, but I have been able to do things over the past several months that I didn't think I would be able to do and like if you had told me when I was at my lowest point that I'd be where I am now um, I wouldn't have believed you at all but I'm, I'm just so glad um, but I want to hopefully inspire others tell my story to the world to let them know that things will get better in time it doesn't last forever I mean my quote um, what you are going through right now isn't forever but deaf is so that's kind of my serious side um i my favorite color is red um i'm a dog lover i've grown up with dogs absolutely love them i'm i, def I definitely prefer medium and large dogs to small dogs i have been playing um the sims for about eight nine years um the first game i ever got to play was the sims on playstation 2 um i actually still have that game <laughs> um and i actually do hope to bring some playstation 2 throwbacks to this channel i mean um i have the sims um the sims busting out the sims 2 castaway um the sims 2 pets um and then some other games that aren't sims related that i would also like to showcase like the Incredibles 2, Rise of the Underminer, um, Cars, The Simpsons Hit and Run, etc. Like those were like my childhood games and I would definitely love to replay them. So that's all I'm going to say um, about me in this video, but I think I've actually said a lot. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the creator sim um, and I should hopefully, like my first like let's play video should hopefully be up by either the end of the weekend or it will be sometime next week but if you go and follow me on twitter which is middleton plays um, you'll definitely find out on there when i'll be uploading but um, the first let's play that i'll be starting will be sims 3 um, but i definitely hope to bring sims 4 as well eventually like i 
probably do Sims 4 Creator Sim um, and Sims 4 Builds. Let, let's play wise, I'm not too sure just yet, but I want to. I have some plans for some Sims 3 ones. Um, so, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, um, and I hope to see you all again next time. Bye, guys. Bye.